Hey guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And today we are going to be doing a Leonardo AI review. As you can see, I'm inside of the software and we are going to go through and use it together. Now, if you don't know what Leonardo AI is, it's basically a cloud based app that will allow you to generate art. So you can generate AI art, video, and transparent PNGs all using their built in AI. So this is going to be a pretty cool uh, review. It's going to be pretty honest as well. So I'm not going to be uh, promoting this. I'm just going to be giving my own opinion on whether I think that you should consider picking this up or not. So let me just go back here to the main dashboard and you can see on the main dashboard, they have a quick access option so you can go ahead and access the sidebar options right here they have a couple of community creation sections so you can see what people are creating using the leonardo ai app you can go ahead and click on these you can even hard them if you like this you can go ahead and follow this guy uh, you can remix the image they have image to motion which will turn the uh, video or turn the image into a video and they have the image the ima image to image which will allow you to take this image and generate a brand new ai art uh, using this image so pretty cool features on the dashboard let's go to the image creation which is the first tool uh, and the main tool that most people use now in here you can see that on the sidebar we have a couple of options so the first thing is going to be the preset you can click on here and choose a different preset so let's just say you want to generate an anim uh, related art you can go ahead and choose that preset they also have all these presets and more if you want to see all the presets you just click on view all and it will show you all the different presets that you can choose from i'm just going to leave it on the default which is the leonardo phoenix the prompt enhance this is a feature that will allow you to enhance your prompts uh, which will uh, increase the likelihood of generating uh, an image of your liking so if you want to generate an ai art and you don't want to uh, be like you, you don't know how to describe it the ai will help you here so you can choose this whether you want it on or off or whether you want it on auto mode so i would just leave it on auto mode the preset style you can choose dynamic they have a bunch of preset styles to choose from so they have graphic design hdr illustration macro uh, and many many more to choose from i'm just gonna leave it on dynamic the contrast you can choose the contrast here so they have low medium and high and this is one of the most important features which is the fast generation mode so whether you want to generate images fast or whether you want to focus on quality or whether you want to go with the ultra mode i'm pretty sure the ultra mode is going to cost you extra credit so i would just go with the fast mode and leave everything on default next thing is going to be the image dimension so whether you want to create a two by three image a one by one or an, a 16 by 9 they also have a couple of other options i'm just going to go with 16 by 9 because i want to create a logo for my youtube video or a, a, a thumbnail excuse me a thumbnail for my youtube video the number of images you want to generate so here you can generate anywhere from one image to eight images uh, per uh, prompt so this is going to be pretty cool i'm just going to go with two for now and they also have the advanced option so you can play around with these i'm not sure what they do you can go ahead and hover over the uh, question mark and it will give you a brief description on these advanced settings and the last thing is going to be add to collection so if you have collections in your account you can add them to these collections you can create a new collection a collection is basically a folder so you can store these uh, art images and videos into a certain folder and then you can come back to that folder and you'll find all this art uh, added to that folder so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and generate a simple prompt for example a dog walking on mars and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click here on this option and i'm gonna click on improve prompt and this will 
improve my prompt and the AI will go ahead and generate an even more descriptive prompt for me. Then I can click on generate and it will go ahead and uh, generate my art. And as you can see, I chose the 16 by nine. That's why it's uh, generated this image on this format. If I chose one by one, it would have been one by one. And as you can see, my image has been successfully generated. Uh, this looks more like a wolf, but I'll take it. <laughs> he is walking on Mars. So it's not the most accurate thing. Uh, sometimes it takes a couple of tries, but you can see that the images are pretty decent. And I think that this is pretty cool given how fast it is. And it literally took a few seconds and it also improved my prompt, which I think is absolutely insane because most people don't know how to uh, prompt an image and the feature to improve your prompt to enhance your prompt is actually very useful in this case you can also do another thing which is if i go here you can see that they have an image to image so you can upload an image and then you can generate another image based on that one so if i go here and click on the map you can see that it will automatically add the map here and then i can add things i can remove things or i can generate something similar to this image so let's just say go ahead and choose france from the map and then i'm gonna click here click on I'm not going to improve the prompt. I'm just going to click on generate and see what happens. And you can see that it's going to go ahead and uh, try and generate what I uh, told it. So it's going to take a few seconds. And here we go. So you can see we have a hand pointing to it's pointing to South America. So it's not choosing France. I'm, I'm not sure which country this is, maybe Brazil or Colombia. I'm not sure, but let's just try to go and click on improve prompt and see what it comes up with. Then I'm going to click on generate and see whether this time is going to be accurate or not. So you can see that it's going to go ahead and try and generate so it generated a different image so sometimes it can be very annoying to get what you want but other times it's pretty easy so i would say that this feature i would give it maybe a 6.5 or a 7 out of 10. Uh, this definitely needs improvements but obviously you need to be more descriptive in order for the AI to understand what you are trying to say. So it's kind of hard to uh, generate images sometimes, but, but most of the time it will generate it perfectly. So I would give this overall, this tool, I would give it maybe a 7.5 or 7.8 out of 10, which is uh, far more than enough. And it's absolutely great, but there is always room for improvement. And I think that it can improve it, improve it even more. Now, if this works for you, then definitely uh, go ahead and grab this. I'm going to leave a link down below. If you want to help me out, it's going to be an affiliate link. If you want to purchase this, go ahead and do that through the link down below. If you don't want to do that, just go to their main website. I don't care. So I'm just making this review and I want to be absolutely honest with you. I don't, I don't care if you purchase this through me or not. I just want to be uh, clear with you and I want to show you what you are getting inside. So I don't want to go ahead and see him, uh, how you say, I'm, I'm not sure what the word is, but uh, I don't want to be biased i don't want to be biased towards the software i think it's a good software and i think the image creation tool is, is something uh, that definitely does the job but there is always room for improvement and sometimes it completely misses the target anyways we move on we are going to go to the motion here and we are going to see what it does i haven't used this yet so i'm just going to go here you can see that you have to upload an image first so you need to upload an image 
So I'm just going to click on select from recent images and I'm going to click here and then I'm going to go and click on generate. I'm not sure what it's generating. So let me just go click on view generations and you can see that it's going to generate something. I'm not sure what it is, but anyways, we are going to wait for it to generate this. Okay, so it took about a few minutes and now it's done and you can see that it generated an MP4 video out of that image and I think it's actually pretty cool that it did that. So it generated a four second video and that's absolutely insane. I just uploaded an image and it generated a video. So this is going to be very useful, but this is just a motion video. So it's not like it could generate a full movie, but it's still pretty cool. So let's just move on to the next one, which is the real time canvas. Now this one is absolutely insane. Let me just wipe this. Let me just go ahead and remove. And this, what it does basically is if you draw something, let me just select the draw. So let me just, how can I draw? Okay. Okay, here we go. So if I draw something here, you can see that it automatically generates in real time, it goes ahead and generates a art so it's very cool so it's absolutely insane you can also type a prompt and you can increase or decrease the creativity strength as well as choose the type or the category of the image so let's just go with anim for example and you can see that it generates an anime character they also have a couple of preferences here so you can add uh, different you can choose the guidance you can add the high quality so if you want the image to be really high quality just click here and you can see that it generates in real time you can also use in paint and uh, it's absolutely insane i have never seen something like this elsewhere and you can go ahead and use this tool and you saw that it's very fast and it generates images almost instantly which is absolutely insane I give this an absolute 9 out of 10 this is pretty impressive in my opinion we also have the real-time uh, generation I think it's the same thing it just generates in real time you just type here something so let's just say a man running you can see that <laughs> it almost instantly generated it this is not a racist video but i'm just gonna type in a black man and see you can see that it generated a black man of course his eyes are not perfect his facial expression uh, is not perfect so a, a black man running a marathon and you can see it generated the black man running a marathon let's just go here and go with cinematic and see I'm not sure why the, the facial expression is not perfect, but it does what it's supposed to do. It's real time generation in rain. So you can see that it almost instantly generated the image, but it doesn't look perfect. So it does what it's supposed to do, but the image needs to be higher quality because you need a higher quality image you can always download it here so let's just download it and see how it looks like yeah you can see that the face is not looking absolutely good uh, the text is not showing the numbers are not showing his hands do not look perfect but other from that it's pretty good for real-time generation I give this one a 6 out of 10 the canvas editor here you can uh, edit the different images that you create you can also uh, generate a prompt and generate an image instantly they have a bunch of tools they have the brush tool the draw tool erase tool you can add text you can add uh, different uh, images on top of other images and much much more I'm not gonna go ahead and show you how to do this 
obviously if you learn how to use Photoshop it's going to be much better we also have the universal upscaler and this will upscale images and make their quality uh, better I haven't used this yet but I think it's uh, actually decent so you can go ahead and uh, upscale the images you can see the before and after right here you can see if you swipe between these two options you can see the before and after and we have a bunch of images right here you can see the before and after and I think that it does the job so this one is definitely a solid 7.5 out of 10 we also have the advanced features so we have the this one it's called the fine-tuned models and if I click on here you can see that you can use all the different Leonardo AI models and they have a description for each model and you can use it for uh, all the AI tools so you can use it for AI image generation video motions real-time canvas and all of these right here we also have the training and data set and this will uh, basically allow you to uh, train or add different data and create a brand new AI that will create the images we also have the texture generation and this will allow you to um, let's just go here and see what it does you can see that it generates 3D models and it will allow you to do that right here. So you just upload a new object and it will turn it into a 3D model. I haven't used this, but the video is very long. So, or this is the last option. Let's just go ahead and find an image and upload it right here. I'm sorry guys looks like I'm out of tokens so I cannot use this tool so we're gonna leave that to the next video if you want me to make another video about Leonardo AI in general I would think that this is a pretty cool software I would highly recommend you to pick this up obviously we have a lot of room to improvement but it is one of the best softwares out there to generate AI art and I would highly recommend you to consider picking this up so this was my full review if you have any questions don't forget to leave them down below and i'll see you guys in the next one take care